What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Pop It On Creech, coming back at you with another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different, however. Today, I wanna take you through my process of assembling a personal altar. What is an altar? Simply put, an altar is a sacred space of power, intention, and positive energy. And it's filled with personal items that have been hand-picked to serve a specific purpose. And you can have one virtually anywhere. A closet, a coffee table, in the corner of a room. It doesn't really matter. It just needs to be big enough to accommodate your physical self as you will be spending time there daily. Which brings me to the next thing, how do you use it? People use altars for many different purposes. Prayer, meditation, reading scripture, relaxation. So how you use your altar is really up to you. But ideally, spending five to 15 minutes a day in that space with those objects with a clear intention in mind is the way you wanna go about it. How, how do you, how do you assemble an altar, one might ask. What do you need? Where does it go? How do you decide what goes on it? How do you use it? Well, let's get into it. This is a combination of different processes I've read about on the internet mixed in with my own way of doing things. You might have your own way, a better way of doing things. I say go for it, whatever gets you to the end result. Let's get into how to make a personal altar and not a creepy one. A, a, a regular, a regular one. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is start off with a free write, about 10 minutes would be good. And this is really just a time for you to be completely honest with yourself about where you are. What do you want more of in your life? What do you struggle with? What are the challenges you wanna overcome? This is basically a time for you to figure out what purpose your altar will ultimately serve. Once you're done with your free write, go back through what you've written and just circle any words that pop out for you. Basically, you're looking for themes around which to build your altar. Another way to frame that is, what do you want to focus on? What's your intention? What do you ultimately want to get out of this altar? From all those circled words, go ahead and take a second to look at what you have. You might find that some of these words actually have some kind of relationship to one another and can be distilled down into a few compact themes. Once you have your themes solidified, then you can go about selecting items which will fill your altar. When selecting these items, you want to make sure each one serves a specific purpose and speaks to one or more of these themes in a way that resonates with you. If you're someone who's really connected to the elements, then you can make sure that your items represent all of them. Earth, water, fire, air, and spirit. Here's where it starts to get groovy. So now you're far enough along, you can actually start assembling your altar. That means selecting a surface and a location. And it's important that the area around your altar is clean as well as the altar surface itself. One thing to keep in mind as you start placing items on your altar is nothing should be arbitrary. Everything is intentional. The theme, the objects themselves, as well as the placement of these objects. Consider how the items look together, how they feel together. If there's one item in particular you want to center everything around, I chose to center everything around my candle because I use it for focus and it was nice to have a fixed focal point in the middle of my altar. Other things to consider, kneeling pads. You're gonna be spending a lot of time here. Might as well be comfortable. Ambient sound, music, lo-fi works really well. Scarves, tablecloths, different fabrics, all are great. Incense, books of wisdom, books of poetry, journals, instruments, bells or chimes, they could all have a place on your altar. Once you have your altar in its final position and all of your items placed, the only thing left to do is activate it. This can be done with a prayer or blessing or just simply stating your intentions for the space. Once the space is alive, you gotta keep it that way. That means dusting, watering, and a commitment to daily use. 
And that's it, y'all. There's your personal altar. Congratulations. Look, I am by no means an expert on any of this stuff. I'm trying stuff for the first time. I'm still on my own personal journey. But if you find yourself really connecting with this stuff, there is a wealth of information out there on the internet if you wanna know more. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you like that video, there's a good chance there's something else on this channel you may enjoy. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and come on back for more how-tos, for sketches, for weekly check-ins, and some real talk. We got it popping over here, y'all. See you then.